Hi, this is David Mamet, and uh, this is my winnings for the last two night drawings on pick three. I, I won them straight. Uh, number was 150 came out, I won straight, and the other one was 046, I won straight. So over 400, $430 I won, two drawings. Um, I'm going to make a prediction and what's coming out. I'm going to show you something. Now, I want you to look at this here. This is, this was the 19th, right? This is yesterday. 201 came out and 046 came out. I actually had 202. I would have won straight on that too. I would have won both times. But I won 046 yesterday. Now, I want you, I want to show you something interesting. You know I deal with the lowest winning digit, right? That's what I deal with. Um, and But when I deal with a straight game, I tend to only look at the first number. And the first number I tend to concentrate is from 0 to 3. So the first number position would be from 0, or 1, 2, or 3. Okay? Because look, 0, 2, 1, 1. Two, 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 zero, two, 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 three, one, two. See that? And it goes again. Two. See that? One, one, zero, zero, three, zero. The meaning the majority of the first the numbers in the first position, the majority of them are between zero and and three, and that's what I concentrate on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something else too. Did you see where the three came out? When the three came out in that position. So, look at how many drawings it hasn't come out in. Okay, it looks like over. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 17 drawings and the three hasn't come out in the first position. That means it's about to come out because uh, it regularly does. Remember, from zero to three, those numbers tend to come out in the first position. So I'm going to make a prediction that the winning number that's going to come out soon, uh, even today, um, is going to be a three in the first position. So what can you do with that information? Well, a lot of odds website I'm working with is that you select the lowest winning digit the next drawing but for a straight game what you do is I'm going to pick a three right <clears throat> so because it hasn't come out for a while <clears throat> and then I'm going to search and this is what comes out you see that now this the black all you have to do all the all the numbers for a box game is in the black section every single New Jersey pick three lotto game that has the lowest winning digit of three would be in the black guaranteed and you can check it yourself just go to the New Jersey website go take any number that has a three as the lowest winning digit compare it to this and they're all going to be in here any lowest winning number uh, any no lowest winning number that has a lowest winning digit is a three which is a double double doubles is going to be in the red guaranteed and when I start this website I will pay you a hundred dollars cash if a three comes out as a low winning digit and it's not in one of these and it's not in the black and the red because they are um, <clears throat> now what I'm also going to do is um, I want to also show you something here up here it tells you how many draws if it's if it's 10 days the three hasn't come out 20 days or 30 days this would be an alert and let you know, and it sends you an email. It sends you an email like this in the morning, and you could, in your own user, uh, user section, member section, you could actually modify it. Like I might have it to ten, five days notice, ten days notice, and twenty days notice. So I got a, a notice, an alert telling me that the three, the five, the eight, and nine hasn't come out in um, five days. I know that zero to three comes out regularly, so that's good for me. I'm gonna play that. Uh, the 5, the 8, the 9, they don't come out too much. Uh, in the first position, 
I mean, they do, but the majority of the time, it's a three. Your better bet is a three. That's what I'm going to play. Um, <clears throat> so what I also do is I look at the trend trending now. Um, on the 19, yesterday came out the two end numbers. Because you know the first number is a three. The two end numbers came out even odd and even even. So, yes, another number, if it comes out, it's possible that it could be even even or odd odd. Okay? But uh, not so often. They tend to mix. It tends to come out another odd, even, or even odd. So that's another clue to reduce numbers here. So what I will do is this. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to search the last the prior winning numbers. All right. Up to today, which is the 20th of May. It's going to show me the prior winning numbers, and there you go. Right? Now I know not to play these, so now I could reduce them more. Now I don't have to play these. Because they tend to hit maybe sometimes twice in the year. Okay, so I'm, I'm safe to play other numbers. But then I could reduce it even more now. I go to each number and I look at here and I see what numbers hit the previous year. And look at this. One, two, three, four. 300 hit four times in 2014. So I create columns. Two hitters, three hitters, and four hitters. This will go in a four hitter. Then I'll go down to the next row. Three, zero, one. Look at that, only hit one time in 2004. I might not even put that, I won't put that down at all. Look at the 302, never even hit in 2014, won't even touch that. 304, hit 13 and 14. I may do that, I may put that down anyway because it hit back to back years. 305, look at three, oh, this is a good one. 13 and 13 hit twice and 14, 14 hit twice. That goes into the two columns. And it hit, this one hit, uh, 306 hit 13, 13. I wouldn't put that down. And uh, 307, 13, 13. You see what I'm saying? So you see, you, you get the idea what I, I'm doing here? Look, 340 only hit. 340 only hit in 2013 once. So I wouldn't put that down there. I would only put down uh, numbers uh, that would actually hit two hitters, three hitters, and four hitters. Like this one. 13, then it hit twice in 14. That definitely goes on the list. Why? Look at this. 347 hit three times in 2014. That would definitely go on the list. Now, why would I do this and put these numbers down here? It's with two hitters, three hitters, and four hitters. It's because it tells you where the lotto balls are hitting and the machines that they're using, the areas that they're hitting in. Um, you know, you go on YouTube and you see a lot of people using mathematics. Oh, add this number, then subtract that number. That's a bunch of hogwash. Uh, because these charts, no matter what you add or subtract with their mathematical methods, they still have to fall within this chart. These are all the numbers, 100 numbers, for digit 3. And then you have, and I have, and this search engine has from digit 0 to digit 9, the charts. So that's all you have. That's all the numbers you have. So number, no matter what they tell you to add or subtract, they have to fall within these charts. So what you need to actually do is you see all the chart numbers, right? And then you get a better methodology and say, okay, pick three. The majority of the numbers in the first position come out from zero to three. So you just look at the chart numbers from zero to three, and then you start reducing the numbers. Like the winning numbers you don't play. Um, and you look at the even odd, even even numbers. You look at the number of draws that are coming out. Uh, you even look at past winning numbers. You see the patterns that come out. And then you, you like I did here. You see that's how you win, and that's how I'm winning back to back. 